Hey peoples, it's me Tristan and this is another Flames of War project. So Kovash sent me this Panther tank as part of a trade we did. Finally I've got it primed grey. I've attached it to an old dried out paint pot using some super glue and a Lego block. This is my setup. So I start off with Leather Brown from Vallejo. I've split up the video footage seven times so it almost seems like I'm using an airbrush. I'm keeping the paint fairly wet so it would go into all of the crevices and just give a general cover of the whole model. Maybe some of you have seen or played the game World of Tanks. I've only ever met the Panther tank there once and boy was it evil base coat of leather brown. It will just give this yellowish nice base color to the old tank. Uh, I have yet to play a game of Flames of War but now I'm hoping to get a game in after I've finished this one just to get some try out some rules. I go to the university right and I study film or more animation so I spent the past week sitting and drawing my movie that I'm making and probably will be doing the same thing for the next at least two months I guess hopefully faster but hey I don't mind as you might have guessed I'm doing a, a classical animation drawn animation and that means I have to draw each of the frames in the movie separately or like different layers on the frames for example uh, one second in a movie usually is 24 frames. Uh, animators usually draw 12 frames per second so they double each frame. Your eye won't notice the difference. You would notice if it's like live cameras and stuff but if it's drawn you won't notice that. That means if uh, let's say my movie is six minutes long you can probably guess how many pictures I have to draw. It's, it's a lot. And now I'm giving the whole model a full coat of the coated arms, cut, cutted arms, coated arms, super wash. I found out that these cut, cutted arms super wash paints are really, really good. And once they dry out, they leave this really natural, nice thin coat. And I'm so impressed by it that I have already ordered all of their different uh, tones for the super wash. I'd say they're even a bit better than the legendary Games Workshop washes, like butter black and stuff like that. So next up is heavy gray or the gray color, and I apply it fairly liberally just giving those little waves and I really don't mind if it if it's a bit wet and goes into all of the crevices and stuff like that I don't I don't mind because afterwards we're gonna give it some more of the super wash and when we go to the main hull of the tank it's the same thing just As you can see, I first draw the outlines of the wave and then paint the insides of it. This way I found out that it's way easier. Because afterwards we'll be weathering, uh, I'll be weathering the tank also. So it really doesn't bother me if it goes into the engine grills or something like that. Drone animation. 
it's a lot of work and it's a dying profession I guess because doing it by the comp with a computer is way easier but I think that you learn a lot more about the motion up Beastial Brown or Beastie Brown. This is uh, a bit darker and a bit more of a red or orange toned brown compared to the yellowish leather brown. So this is just to give this darker tone to the tank. Actually you can't see it that well through the washed leather brown but but it works also doing the same wave actions and now I'm gonna take leather brown and first of all I was uh, trying to give it some shading but it wasn't the stuff I was looking for. Now using leather brown I'm gonna do some yellowish uh, stripes or those thinner waves over the tank. It'll give this nice contrast and bring out the heavy grey and that beastie brown color. And Maybe you can notice but there are still areas on the turret and on the tank that will be left with only the base coat so it has this multi-layered uh, paint job on it and the first I'm just gonna give it uh, give the basic lines you will see afterwards I'm going over the lines as well it will be a lot better than the for example the previous tiger tank that I painted up so it's in the same color scheme the camo style is a bit different this is the end of part one and next time we'll continue with probably the tracks and a bit of the washes on the tank and on the camo to work it into the whole look and maybe we'll get into some of the details on the tank as well so thank you for watching keep it safe and I'll talk to you next time <laughs>